Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. My name is Ashley. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I am a stay-at-home mom. I love creating videos about cleaning and sometimes I like to put in a little bit of cooking and homemaking in there as well. In this video today, even though it's a little bit different than my normal cleaning content, I wanted to share this with you because I wanted to help give inspiration and motivation. If you're also a stay at home mom and maybe you are struggling to come up with some meal ideas or prepping ahead of time, I do this every week and it is the best thing for myself and my family that I can do is to take the time to prep meals, to make sure that I'm adding items in our grocery cart, clipping deals, the whole 10 yards. It's come second nature to me. So I kind of don't even think about it. It's just, you start doing it. And you know, if there's any way that I could help somebody else, because I, I always am getting recipe and meal ideas from others online, whether it's Pinterest or Instagram reels, I'm constantly saving. Or if I really like a meal, I'll add it to my notes on my phone for the following week ahead. So that's just another quick tip, but I think anytime that you're able to plan ahead, look at what it is you already have at home, see what you can use for the week, you know, moving forward. I think it's just going to help set you and your family up for success. And it's something that honestly, like as a stay at home mom and homemaker, I get really excited about like knowing that I am able to feed my family and that I have meals prepared and I know exactly what we have in the fridge or pantry to make those meals. When you take the time ahead of time, it helps to really alleviate any of that stress moving forward. So as you can see, Monday night, I made butternut squash soup. I used two butternut squashes from a local farm and I found that to be the perfect amount and also the perfect creamy consistency. I don't make this often, but it's perfect for the fall time and I could not remember what it would look like blended up. I don't have an immersion blender by the way and if you don't either, totally fine. I use this blender from Walmart and look at that consistency. It was so perfect to go with a grilled cheese. Um, but I did want to mention that I'm going to leave all recipes and information for this week's, um, you know, dinner ideas down below. So just look in the description box. I'll make it nice and easy for you. Sometimes, for example, Tuesday night, we do this at least once a week, whether it's with protein pasta or butternut squash ravioli. This week we had, um, I was going to say spinach tortellini. No, I was thinking of a soup recipe. Um, but this week we had just like regular cheese tortellini, totally fine. We mix it up, but this is a great staple and my husband loves it. My daughter loves it. So it's just really easy to put this baked feta pasta on the menu. I don't have to think about it. And I just know that for one night out of the week, we are set and ready to go. And of course, if you find that you're getting bored with meals, you can always change them out. But it's really nice to have like one or two staples that you can go to each week tacos is another one for us or like a taco night or taco bowl. Um, I did not include that in this week's video, but just a little, a little tip for you. Cause I think sometimes even I can overcomplicate things, but when you're just kind of in a busy season of life, it's just nice and easy to have recipes that you can count on and go to. So that's exactly what I'm hoping to share with you guys in this video today. So I believe I mentioned this in my last cleaning video. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I was talking about it, but that's beside the point. If you guys have a Shaw's near you, they have, if you're not aware, they have an app where you can go in and clip coupons and deals. And I do this at least once a week. I always do it on Fridays when they get new deals, but I'm not sure if any other grocery stores that are near you have them like Hannaford's or Market Basket um, stop and shop. I'm sure there has to be some sort of rewards program. Maybe I'm late to the game, but I know with the inflation and everything, this has really helped our family. And sometimes I'll base meals, you know, around what's on sale, or if there's ground Turkey on sale, I like to kind of get that and stock up because I know it's something that we're going to use moving forward. So just a little tip because this has made a world of a difference for us. Also, if you you know have the Shaw's app or Shaw's is local to you, they do grocery pickup. At least I know they do that in our area free of charge. 
I, I'm the kind of person where like, I feel bad and you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, should people think that I'm being lazy? But honestly, they do it for free. They have workers that are doing it and it makes such a difference, you guys, to do grocery pickup. We actually started grocery pickup for the first time probably within the last six months and I couldn't recommend it enough along with clipping the deals. It just helps us save money and time, you guys. I know a lot of people, I also used to have some reservations about it and, you know, produce or, you know, someone else picking out my groceries. But to be honest, I'm really thankful for the Shaw's employees that do grocery shop for us every week and for Shaw's for offering this for their shoppers. It makes a world of a difference. So I would suggest looking into it if you have a Shaw's near you or anything similar, because exactly what I just said, it has made a world of a difference in our lives. And it's sometimes it's like buying time back, whether it's to be with your family or whatever that looks like, it's so worth it. Okay, I wish you guys could taste this through the video and yep, pairing it with a Coke Zero tonight but I haven't done this with white rice before. I've done other meatball recipes. Meatballs are definitely an easy staple with rice, but with a little bit of salt and pepper. This is so, so good, you guys. Such an easy recipe. It is perfect. We are a family of three. You can always add more. You can have leftovers. Just super, super easy and quick um, You know, for dinners. Whether you're on the go, you have sports, you know, you work late, whatever the case may be, um, or if you're out all day running around with the kids, this one is honestly, I think, one of my favorites this week. I just realized, you guys, I forgot I bought these and took them out to defrost to use these for the meatballs this week. But I wasn't thinking I grabbed the frozen ones, which usually I use for like a quick lunch or quick dinner for my daughter. But no big deal. I will just honestly throw these back in the freezer and we're gonna do it next week. We do a different, maybe like a jelly and barbecue sauce or something. So I totally forgot that I have these. It happens to the best of us, you guys. Okay, cheeseburger sliders, you guys. I don't know why I did not think of this before, but it's a great comfort meal. You can pair it with a salad, honestly, even like veggies on the side if you wanted. I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> Sorry, I have my I have my Morky here next to me. She's turning nine in a couple weeks, you guys, and I'm not okay. I got her when she was two, so she's just doing a little stretch, but cheeseburger sliders, they're so easy, an inexpensive meal. You can do ground beef if you prefer that. Like I said, we get ground turkey a lot on sale. Sometimes I just prefer the taste of the ground turkey, but I'll leave the recipe that I like to use down below. I kind of just eyeball measure with the heart, you know, stuff like that. It's just a lot easier sometimes, but um, cheeseburger sliders are one of our like favorites these days. Speaking of comfort meals, this meal was designed just for that. So Friday night, this is just a super easy meal. I'm laughing because my sister and I, if you guys don't know, we are neighbors. We recently, by recently, I mean about over a year ago, bought a house next door to my sister. So we're very close. But anyway, so she was over the other day and she was just kind of like going through my fridge and what we do this all the time to each other, but she was going through my fridge and she was like, oh my gosh, like, what is this? She asked me like five times. She's like, what is this sauce? Like, it's so good. And I was like, it's literally just like prego red sauce with, a little bit of cream cheese, honestly, but perfect comfort meal approved by my husband, toddler, me, and my sister. So we don't make this one every week. It was just kind of a last minute toss together meal that I had. There is a specific Pinterest recipe down below. I didn't copy that entirely for this week, but I will share it with you guys if you want like a step-by-step -step guide.